Greetings, one and all. Kubi in the house. Kubi. Yeah, this is the Titus. Now, this is the expensive Titus. You can get a Titus for like 40 bucks. But you can pay this too. But this is this was a buck and a quarter on the on the Kubi site. But it looked like they were only a hundred bucks on White Mountain. And then 10% discount, so what would this be? About 90 bucks, right? That, no tax, no cost for shipping, just 90 bucks into your hands. Now, this is 14 C, so no, it's not 20 CV or Magna Cut, but this is pretty nice. I like this machining on here. And they have them in different colors on these titanium models. They got them in different colors, and they've got them with a plane. They're, they're with not machine, okay? But I just thought this was way ass cool looking, this. And of course, it does give you grip, right? So it gives you that, but it gives you stylistic interest and all that. And then you got this going on, and you know, that begs the question, is this just a coated non-titanium, or is, ooh, that's not magnetic. That's probably titanium, yeah, okay. That's a tit, 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 tit. Yeah, that's titanium. Nope, that's not titanium. <laughs> okay, never mind. Just mess with you now. Uh, but yeah, um, here's what it says. What does it say? The KB360, and I think F means freaking blue, dude. It's blue. And, uh, okay, so let's take a little sneak peek inside the... Wonderful world of Kubi boxes, and that's where it came in. Sealed in the pouch. They sealed them in the pouch. And then here is the microfiber cloth. Here's the Kubi paperwork guarantee and how you contact them and stuff. And I uh, know they usually put a hundred dollar bill there <laughs> in my dreams. In my dreams. Okay. So there's our Kubi box. It's pretty roughy tufty, cool looking box. All this. Now the Titus is not a big knife. It's not a small knife. It's kind of in between ish knife. And I didn't see anybody getting credited with designer on this. So I'm thinking this is in house. Ah, uh, Kubi. Okay, but Kubi wants a buck and a quarter for these. Three point, so basically 3.4 inch blade, okay? Bead blast, titanium, all kinds of crazy. And then, what do you want? What do you want? You want purple, you want blue, you want yellow, you want, geez, whatever, okay? Or just silver or whatever. But then, yeah, doesn't matter what you choose. They want buck and a quarter. They're 100 bucks on white. And then 90 after discount, right? So, um, and here's your stuff. Boom, boom, boom through 8.15. So this is a full-size knife, right? 14C, 28. I like that. I like that steel as a user steel. And definitely this is not a $300 knife, blah, blah, blah. Five ounces. Uh, cage ceramic bearings. And like I was saying, how much they want on White Mountain? Yeah, but it says this one's out of stock. I don't know. They got a plethora of them on there in G10, my card, or whatever. I mean, so you can get them at all different prices. I'm just saying this is the, the higher end thing that's going on here. And I don't know. I didn't look to see if there was a Titus with a, you know, super premium steel like M390 or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know. But bead blast, and hey, I'm all good with this. Nice contoured titanium. I like the machining. I like the fact that this is a titanium clip as well. Right hand tip up only, open design. There's your standoffs. Uh, there's your lock up. 20% and we're bragging, maybe. Uh, we you know, hardened steel insert, all that kind of stuff in here. Over travel stop. But, uh, yeah, there's a differential in height. So, boom, there goes the flipper tab. And it's jimmed. Really, this is nicely put together little knife, isn't it? And, you know, Kubi's doing a lot of OEM work, so they're, 
God, they make a good knife, okay? Um, and look at this. Little jimping on here, thumb ramp going up here, a little bit of a fuller thing running up through and off the blade, this teardrop milled out area inside. And so, Mr. Finger Flicker, you damn right. You damn right, just like that bank. You damn right. So we we loving that. And oh, okay. I'd say the detent's fine. It's not too light. It's a little on the lighter side of the world, but there's a lot of room on that side of the world to get really light. It's not that light. Let me, yeah, I can fail it though. I mean, I can fail it. Yeah, okay. But I'd rather, actually myself, I'd rather defer on a little bit lighter detent than for it to get too stiff. Uh, so, I mean, God, the other day I had, I can't remember what the hell it was in my hands. And holy crap, that thing was, that detent was so stiff. I'm going, there's some people probably literally could not flip that knife open. Holy, oh my God, it was amazing. I go, I put it back in the drawer. I go, I was going to use it for a giveaway or something. Hell no, hell no. So, but this one, no, this is fine. This is fine. It's centered up. It's good. Um, what's it? What's it for fatness? 12.6. That's not bad. 0.49. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, 0.12. So was that three? Three millimeter even. Okay. Now, you may ask yourself, will it cut? Jeez, drop it right on my finger. Okay. Yeah. That's not good. Don't don't drop it on your finger. Okay, okay, yeah, it's it it's passable right there. Whoop! Oh, we keep we keep making more marks, and we're we're just feathering them. Okay, never mind. Get out of here. But yeah, so we're good. Good factory edge on it. And is it light as as a feather? Maybe not. Maybe not. This is a pretty. Good chunk right there. What do we got for grams? Okay. It's not under 100. Now, that would be light if it was under 100 or at 100. But no, 136 grams is... But it's probably not 5 ounces. Probably 4 point... Let's say, what do you think? 4.5? 4.79. Okay. I was close, though. Okay. So, okay, no, that's pretty reasonable. I'm good with that. That'd be good. Ergos, yeah, wow. Well, I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Yeah, that's going to feel good. And you know what? You could jump up here. You need to be careful because it's not a huge choil area. But you could go up. Yeah, you can do some stuff. And um, But you don't feel like you're shoved too far back behind that blade just like this. Um, reverse grip feels good as well. That's pretty good. Um, there's your center. That, that's pretty easy to find. So, and, whoosh, whoosh. okay, look at the flow here, though. This flows right into the bolster, and blade to handle length is decent enough. You're not going to touch the blade here. You do have a lanyard hole. Okay. And then these screws, I don't know. They they might be, hold on. They might be titanium. It, it looks by the color of them. Yeah, and they're not magnetic. That might be titanium hardware on here. Okay. That's interesting. Well, we'll take it apart. We'll, we'll take a little closer look at that. Boom, right there. Nice. Got a nice little drop to it. You could probably make it even more drop shutty. Right now, it's kind of that hydraulic feel, which a lot of people like. I like it too. You know what I'm saying? But you could probably make it more guillotine-ish if you crack this uh, pivot a little bit. Yeah, but that's nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, the Titus, it's good looking. Kumi makes a lot of good looking knives. I got a couple stuck back in my 
in my K box along with like Kunwu, Kaiser, Cancept. And there's some room left even for Kubi. Even for Kubi. But uh, wow, okay. They, they do have some attractive knives, they do. And you know, some of my buddies have done that. You know, Max has done stone. Who else did that? Uh, Jelly Jerry or somebody like that has done for them as well. Just interesting uh, cadre of designers that have done different types of designs for them. But this one's real easy to handle. Feels good. Like the contouring. Like the milling. A lot I like about it. So if we're going to like it, let's see if we can like to take it apart. And we can do it like this. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to have some number sixes on here. Are these going to be number eights? Well, ooh, that's a number eight. Okay, so we're going to start from the back. Obviously, we got the logo on the front. Obviously, it's a captured pivot because nothing's moving. Just got it right unscrewed there. And we got a number eight on the body. So there's that, and we've got pocket clip things going on. I'm going to guess those are sixes, and yes, they are. And there's one of them, and let me see if I can find the other one. There it is, okay. So pocket clip, boom, you're gone, okay. Got you off, whoops. Ooh, okay, so there's one of the pocket clip screws, and there's the other one. So we got a long one because it's going through a standoff thing in here, like this little dog right there. That's where it's going into. Okay, so we got skeletonized or weight relieved not skeletonized but weight relieved area and we've got hardened steel uh, insert with ceramic detent ball over travel stop all that and obviously yeah we got a washer steel washer all that kind of gobbledygook so this is the lock side right so okay we're good, and what are we doing? We're messing with things. And I'm going to put my magnet away. Let me get these over here. Here, here, and here. Okay, so we got a little bit of a... A notch here so that's stabilizing this and uh, we got our ceramic bearings here so we're good with that and easy breezy but we were gonna be a little bit of oh we were gonna check out these these screws and guess what they are not magnetic they are not magnetic at all so okay and neither is a pocket clip nothing over here is magnetic at all nothing nothing there nothing there till you get to the hardened steel insert and yeah that is okay so nothing magnetic there so this is all good even the standoffs are not magnetic kind of weird okay there's your disassembly and back with the titus and we got it apart easy got it back together easy the screws are definitely not magnetic, so I'm thinking they're titanium. I think in these standoffs are titanium. The pocket clip is titanium. Lots of titanium going on in here. I like it. It's a great looking knife, and you know what we do. We love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.